be aware that we should talk to all the cameras. Good morning, everybody. Is everyone on? Everyone live? So over here, just we know. Good morning. We've got Josh Wood live on Instagram here. Trini uh, live on uh, Facebook and here. Trini live on Instagram. Good morning, everybody. Really sorry that we're late. We have been preparing. We've got 10 women. So if any of you actually submitted your picture, 10 lucky women today are going to get phenomenal advice from who I consider the best hairstyle, but hair, hair colorist in London. Stylist, mm, hair colorist. I don't um, style. Uh, Josh Wood. And here with Shasha, our chief oh, makeup artist. Yes. And we're going to, this is what's going to happen today. We've got our lovely model. Safi. Say hello, Safi. And we're going to talk about Safi's color with Josh. And we've got 10 ladies here. And there are two different ways we're going to look at hair, Josh, aren't there? Because there's, a, there's, an, there's something Josh is bringing out. You know I never like, I love new products, but this is the most exciting thing for me because it's going to be able to transform people's hair at home. So you're going to tell us about it as we mm -hmm. get in the story. And also, I love if you are thinking, my God, I can't afford to keep going to hairdresser. So what you can do at home um, with your colour and Josh has got some really good, you've got some tricks yes. and some products too. And Shasha, you're going to take some skin, hair and eye and we're going to look at the ladies as a whole. So, we're going to get started. Yeah. Yep. All right, so tell us Josh. Shall we just talk about Safi? Let's quickly, talk about Safi. Here. Safi, come over here darling. Um, I think this, what I wanted to share, so the, the, the product that we've, uh, that we've used on Safi is a gloss. Um, there's so many kind of buzzwords around gloss and glazers going around. I think it's actually really confusing for people. Should we show Safi's before? Do we have a before? Yeah, we, yeah, we do. Right okay. there. So let's just look at Safi before because, look, okay, let, in fact, let's talk about Safi now. Pretend yeah. you didn't see that lovely hair. Oh, All right. Poor Safi. She's a beauty. <laughs> she's such a beauty. A beauty behind the photograph. But like. Um, so Safi has a hair highlighted um, with foil and a little bit of freehand called balayage. That's where you put a bit of bleach into the hair. But what happens, because Safi's base colour um, is actually quite dark, mm -hmm. it yellows very, very, very quickly. And she's really unusual that her hair is incredibly thick as a blonde. Yes. Most blondes kind of have to kind of deal with quite fine hair. Yeah. Um, so we gloss Safi's hair using my new Shade Shop Gloss product. Um, basically, it's a semi-permanent colour and a treatment mixed together. So it's actually conditioning your hair as it's colouring. It's semi-permanent, it, it lasts up to six washes, but what we can do with a, with a gloss product is change the tone of the, of the, of the colour. So no brassiness, no yellow, no orange. And as we're going to get, um, Matt's going to blur dry Safi's hair, and as, when we see the finished result, you'll see a marked difference between like, these yellowy areas in here, and it'll be, it'll be much cleaner, softer, a bit more vanillary. Fantastic. And Shasha, darling, mm -hmm. so look at... Safi's makeup. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got a little bit, have you got a little bit of colour on now, or is that your lip? Uh, no, just the gloss. Yeah. You just got the gloss, but you've got a little bit of eyeliner yeah. on. Okay, so your classic look, Safi, has been black eyeliner all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. So anyone who ever comes to us with black eye and we're trying to remove it yeah. <laughs> and give you something that's a bit softer but still gives you the pop that you want from your eyes, yeah. but maybe will accentuate the actual colour of your eye with tones yeah. that bring that out. Okay. So we'll probably do, I'll probably go heavier on the eye because I feel like that's what Safi likes. Yeah. So we're trying to do something that is going to be your kind of look and then keep, you've got a beautiful colour mouth anyway, so keep everything quite natural and washed out down there. Yeah. But I'm thinking something to pop the blue. Fantastic. So darling, do you want to get started? How are yeah. we going to do Safi? We're going to do Shasha, Shasha do makeup, and then blow dry first? Or Wait, what's blow dry. Why don't we do blow dry first? Shasha's going to be with yeah. us because yeah. we're going to talk about lots of ladies. Makeup's getting nice. We're going to do that first, and then we've got a lot to capture, and we also got the shop opening in a bit, but they can just hold off because I'll be so excited to watch this. Now, let's start with the first of the 10 ladies, and I think for all the people watching, you will find yourself amongst these 10. And I just want all of the people on social just to go across so you can just get an idea very quickly of what kind of, just what kind of, you know, we're gonna, a white hair, a brunette hair, a bro weird brown hair, an orangey hair that needs some help, a brunette, a blonde, a sort of white frizzy blondie, a orangey brownie, a brunette, and a kind of honey blonde. So we're gonna talk about all those hair tones and what can be done. Also, as well, we've had, we, obviously, we, with, uh, with time constraints, we can only talk 
uh, these 10 specific looks, learn consultation about anything to do with hair colour and we're there 24 seven, always there for you. And the reason that Josh and I have such a synergy is you look at things in personalization like yes. we do and you look at color, yeah. cool, mid, warm. And if you really want to understand the cool, mid, warm around color, um, I was like an extra guest, but Shasha and Josh had this intense conversation and that is on our hair, trini.com, uh, trinilon.com hair, where Shasha and Josh talk a lot about cool, mid and warm. And if you want a thorough understanding, it's an intense, fantastic conversation of how those all come together. But we're going to start Let's with start. the first candidate. So we have got here Anne. So Anne, are you watching? Um, Anne Robinson struggles with looking washed out now she has let her hair be its natural colour and those hooded eyes, okay? So Shasha, we're on Anne. Okay. Um, do you, I know you've got your Anne stuff here. So let's talk about colour first, Josh. Well, I actually think Anne's hair is a really amazing colour. I mean, maybe it feels a little bit solid, um, and maybe, I mean, Anne says she thinks it looks a little bit dull at times. But what Shasha and I discovered when we looked at this picture, there is no colour there. It's a white top and a white necklace and black and white glasses and, and very pale hair. I wouldn't change that colour. I would use a Shade Shot gloss in Icy Blonde. Works brilliantly on grey hair. Can you show us something, yes. by the way, just so we know what to pick up a boots? It sounds like an ad, but it's just bloody good. Shade Shot Gloss, Icy Blonde. Works brilliantly on grey hair. I use it on mine. And what that will do uh, for Anne is just bring that sparkle back to okay. grey hair. But uh, when, when Shasha and I were talking, we think that we need to put some colour somewhere into mm -hmm. Anne's beauty regime. Can I regime. just um, say very quickly, because a lot of women would have something called a blue rinse when they're yes. gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how modern, is this? Modern Day blue rinse. Is it modern blue rinse, but it's not no, going mean, to turn them blue. It, no, it's okay. not. I mean, it's not blue. It's a combination of different violets and, and, yeah. and pale and pale blue tones. Um, the one thing to watch out with this is because I really believe when I'm making a color product, it has to work. I can't bear products that you put on and you see no difference afterwards. So if you've got very, very, very bleached hair, hair that's very porous you would, probably wouldn't leave this on as long yeah. because there can be a slight violet up. tone. Okay, but on this, it will just make Anne's hair feel really glossy and sparkly again, okay, not dull. Fantastic. Never, never, never dull grey. So Shasha, the hair is now alive. I'm gonna say clothing wise that with Anne's skin, hair and eyes, she's got a blue eye. You know, Anne can wear vibrant colors that need not be white. She could be wearing electric blue. She could be wearing this pink. She could really go for that sort of neutral slash cool tones, mm -hmm. white, gray, navy, that'd be beautiful on her. But I would say, oddly, when you are this combination, wearing a print can sometimes wear you. So I would keep the clothing block mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna think, what's her like, great? I've chosen a couple, not all of the colors yeah. that she could wear. Um, and probably because I work in looks, I've chosen the look. Yeah, for the white, so. Inspired yeah. by the glasses and the silver hair only. Okay. So still quite straightforward, monochrome-ish, mm -hmm. but bringing in mm -hmm. a bit of the red. So I think Anne mentioned that she has a bit of a hooded eye. Yeah. So just the regular colors like Wisdom, Faith, to just push that hooded eye back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Socket-wise. A little bit of Electra, colors like Electra, Catherine would suit her. So Electra is a flush is blush. A flush blush. So it's a lovely creamy um, consistency and lasts all day long and then it just slightly sets uh, on your face. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And then also bringing in the blush is key, isn't it, with the skin tone? When you colors. haven't got, if, we, if we're talking bring color to your face, yeah, because if you, you're doing your eyes, say you're not a mouth person but you just leave everything else there, that you are, you have a sort of drained vibe. Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit of blush, but nothing, nothing too garish because of the, sil the silver and the cool yeah. in the hair. Okay. And then another blush would be Lips Cheek Phoebe, because that is a cool sort of rasp, I call it dusty watermelon red, and that would sit really nicely with that hair too. And she could also use a bit of that on her lips. Or if she was going to go for it, I think if you stick it in the middle of the photo, you can see, yeah, you can see that, that would just look so cool. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. A demon mouth. Yeah. It's never too late to start doing a bright lip. For sure, okay. Time to change, ladies. All right, next up, we're going to do, this is one of my favorites, because I see so many women who, Shasha, you and I have made over, over the years on our journeys around mm -hmm. the world, and Josh, <laughs> so many ladies have come into the salon like this. So, Bianca, I have loads of gray coming through, and it's due to dyeing sessions, but it really interested to know I'm using natural darkest brown as the right color for me, and sometimes it goes too dark and it's black and I look washed out. 
That natural darkest brown with L'Oreal, by the way, not sure what it'd be with Josh Wood. So I've never used them before. So my thought when I saw her, Josh, is it was just killing her features because yeah. it was so dense Heavy. and intense. Yeah. And then when you've got something and you've kept the same dark as the tone, mm -hmm. when, you, when you, your gray shows through, you feel even older. You know, it has that yeah. tired I, feeling. I mean, I think Bianca really um, taps into my passion for democratising hair colour. I mean, like, like Trini said, not everybody can go to a salon, not everybody can get to me, you know, 30 years of experience of colouring hair. But what, I, what I've realised over the years is getting the right hair colour is so important for one's well-being. Oh Having goodness. a hair colour that fits you well, that suits you, can transform. I, I know it so well, because <laughs> if you feel your hair's good, you don't have to think about, last week I had too much big dark block growing out, and I went to my hairdresser on yesterday morning at 8 and I said, you have to fix me because it ruined my week. I mean, it's yeah. pathetic. It's, no, not it's not even vanity. It's no, it's just, not. the more tools we can have in our hair and in makeup, the better. Yeah. So, so on, do, on Bianca, yeah. I mean, I don't know whether, maybe I'm just going to come really close. Yeah, let's go. Bianca's been very kind to send us a picture where we can see um, how grey she is here on the hairline. Yeah. What's happening there is, by the nature of the fact that grey hair is transparent, people feel they're going bald mm. or the hair's very yes. thin on yeah. the temples. And the intensity of brown makes the hair look and feel plumper. But what happens is, five, eight days after colouring, you're back to the problem where you've got a transparent root, mm -hmm. which does not make people feel good. So for Bianca, Okay, Bianca, your hair's too dark. I think you know that. It's probably overcoloured. There's not going to be an easy transition for this uh, because I, I'm, I mean, I think your hair's quite fine, so I wouldn't bleach it. And I certainly wouldn't advocate bleaching at home. That would have to be a salon. You'd need a professional to do that for you. I think you need to start to use a lighter brown um, on the roots and try to let the ends be weathered. Bit of sun, bit of swimming. You know, let the ends start to um, come up lighter, wash up a little bit lighter. And if we got the right balance of brown and not this inky black, so very, not dissimilar to Trini's, a very yeah. soft, neutral, neutral kind of brown, the ends would start to look highlighted or balayaged. It's about really re reassessing the balance of colour. It looks very dense and hard against the skin tone and kind of transparent in the ends. So, okay, so at the minute with L'Oreal, yeah. what's, what's, what's Bianca saying she is? Let me just she look. is darkest saying she's brown. the darkest brown with L'Oreal. Yeah, I mean, I think with us, you would, I don't have one here, but you'd, have, you'd, have, you'd go for a level 5.5. So show the product for us, but 5.5 5 5 on boots, boots, by the way. Or joshmacolor.com. Uh, six is palest brown, so that would, yeah. will work towards a six, but you've got to do it in stages. Okay. Because if you were to put a really light brown in here now, it would start to have that look of like a tabby cat. So is this a question a also of slowly letting it grow up? It's going to be a bit lighter and then darker, yeah. and then you're going to get there. It's a process you can be patient. Or okay. if one's very brave, you chop. Chop. Because if you chop a little oh, bit off yeah, the ends, yeah, yeah. it's less time to grow yeah. out the colour. Yeah. But it, it's, um, you, Bianca is a brunette, she's just not this very yeah. dark, dense yeah. brunette. I'm going to say also, because I hmm. think the hair's a weird length, I'm going to say chop. And I'm also, I think a chop. Yeah, and I'm also going to say, Bianca, I would go towards block colours, oddly. I just, there's something about you're wearing print here that well, I those think. Those eyes are beautiful yeah, as well. Yeah, and you just want some strength of colour. So cobalt blue is your colour, white navy again um greys are good uh a kind of emerald green i think you could also mm -hmm. also wear too so Shasha, what about makeup what are we, we going to do with her i have chosen a sort of palette that is i'm i'm really swamped because when i see that kind of hair there's things that i want to do yeah. with that Tell me i'm about keeping it. in my mind <laughs> um i'm keeping in my mind where it's gonna be mm -hmm. so with those blue eyes but the fairly there's a goldenness in that skin tone. It's not a cool sort of. It's, I feel like she's a light tan, a medium. Yeah. yeah. So if you so wear she, you'll be a wearing, light medium BFF. Yeah. And when you have that slight warmth in your skin, anything too cool will sit wrong. But anything too warm, because you're not warm, warm, will also sit wrong. So I've chosen Desire, which is one of the newest eye to eyes that we have. Which is I call it a. It's like a crimson top note in a sort of espresso base. It's On me, it's going to look, but it sits quite neutral in its brownness. Mm, mm. But that kind of the crimson aubergine 
I love with blue eyes like that. Yeah. It'll really make them pop whilst not sitting too cool on the skin. Then, cheek wise, if it was a neutral cheek, I've chosen Lady J. And that would be, I think you can see that that would work for mouth as well. Is it right if I stick them in front of the... So stick them in front, it? because then you're going to really show it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then equally, Freddie, if you were going into... No, I'm tempted we should put them on the Autumn picture. Autumn, winter. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But the reason I've chose these two together, it's Freddie Lip to Cheek and it's Maddie Lip Glow, is when you have a strength to your face, a nude lip can be tricky, but a lot of people don't always want an overpowering lip. But Freddie and Maddie together make a really good nude lip with enough intensity that you don't look washed mm -hmm. out. And I think on her, that would Amazing. be really stunning. I think it's fascinating though what you're saying because uh, Bianca is a brunette. Yeah. And she's just the wrong brunette. Uh -huh. yeah. it's, it's just the wrong yeah, brunette. Yeah, it's just a little tweak. And you know, when I say you, know, you, you say you want to get, I'm desperate to get my hands on it. I think yeah. helping somebody like Bianca get the right colour will yeah. just, all those things that she feels about herself that aren't right, I know with the right kind of tone, the right makeup, and certainly the right hair colour, it'll change all those feelings. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to do two quick fives yep. because I'm aware of time. I unfortunately ran late today, it's all my fault, but I had a problem with my tummy and I had to deal with it. Um, next up, <laughs> too much information, but that's just me. So I just did and I thought I have to have movement before I come on. You know, to, to be on film and need to go to the loo, there's nothing worse than life. So, Juliet, my darling, there you are. Headshot in question for Josh Wood Live. Oh, you I look have dark, thick, oh. coarse hair. I want some balayage highlights, similar to Trini, but wonder how light I can go on past. What do you recommend? I'm just going to say something here, which is that um, something that we can all do. Sorry, that's the air conditioning. Some, something we can all do is we can take a picture into the hairdresser and say, can you give me her hair colour? But sometimes not looking at the fact that maybe your skin tone and your eye colour might be different. So if we look, Juliet, at you and me, and Shasha and I were doing a skin, hair and eye, um, I think you've got brown eyes. Who? Yes. Me? Uh, no, no, Juliet brown has brown skin. eyes and her skin is more olive. Yes. Her skin is more olive, olive. olive. Possibly like it's caramel, like a push. She's yeah. She's a centre. Yeah. yeah. And her yeah. natural um, hair colour is... Dark. A dark, dark, dark thing. So the thing is, though, what, I get what Juliet says. I get this light. all the time. Okay. You have a color that's got tone in it. It's light. Yeah. It's not one color. It's not flat. Yeah. It's not too dark. You're not a blonde. That's what Juliet's trying yes. to achieve. She, I don't think. I think if we took your hair off and put it on Juliet, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. It, it's too. It's <laughs> too <laughs> neutral. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, but just to be very quick on this, this yeah. is a salon job, can't do this at home, okay. impossible. You wouldn't be able to put the pieces of colour where you need to. I would face... And she wants to come do balayage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I would face frame the front, I wouldn't do too much. I'd make, I wouldn't make her look like a blonde. Um, what would probably happen do you here... Do you do lowlights more than highlights? No, 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 no I'd do highlights. I'd yeah. do balayage all around the hairline, yeah. face framing, but I wouldn't make it look like a big highlighter job because she's naturally dark, so it would yeah. look ridiculous. Mm -hmm. it just looked too try-hard. Um, what will happen though with Juliet's hair when you lift very very dark hair the dreaded orange <laughs> I mean I have been I have come out even from Josh's ones when he didn't know me I came out as a carrot and he said don't worry it's a process darling next day yeah. yeah. so um, the product that would be brilliant to maintain this balayage look when it's created in the salon but the thing to make it not turn orange would be to use a shade shot gloss. Okay, sure. And again, us. interesting, I'd use Icy Blonde. Would you? Because you're going to want it, because, because you know she's working really with the lightest pieces of hair. Yeah. The brown, if she wanted to be a lovely chocolate brown, great, I could create that. But yeah. wanting lightness, knowing that the dark base is going to go yellow or orange, you need to neutralise that yellow or orange with a violet or blue. Great. Perfect. That simple. All right, and Shasha, what are we going to do? What's her quickest stack? This is a woman who just wants I do. I, I got a palette ready. Oh, let's do a palette. Okay, okay. well, no, keep it like that, darling. We can do that. Look, come come up close to the cameras. Lovely. So, that's so nice, Shasha. Okay. Yes. So don't shout so, me. Sasha is in there. That's fine. But yeah, we'd love she's her. a warm, she's a warm yeah. skin. And she's so going to have... her skin warm. is... Uh, it's like, I feel lightest, like she's a Santa, so yeah. it's like a lightest caramel or yeah. darkest olive, like, around that ballpark. Mm. But anything to... Reds with blues in, or eyeshadows with... Where is... So you're keeping it golden and golden, warm, rich, because anything that leans towards yeah. grey, silver tones, lilacs or anything like that, cool. on her face yeah. she's just going to look drained. Cool. So the mixture so of eyes here, so Queen is a wonderful, um, just, if you, I don't know if you want to swatch quickly, Shasha, we've got Victory, this is all from, the, a lot of them from the Warrior Queen collection, and mm. we've got Empress. Can you see it on my skin? Yeah, there? a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and... But lovely tones on, on her skin there. Very pretty. 
Okay, and then you've, you've kept it. We've got Lila, Kitty. we've got Shasha, we've yeah. got Sasha, we've got Katinka, we've got Freddie. Again, terracotta bases, corals, peaches, things shot through with gold. Yeah. Um, so Shasha is going to be on the literally lip Literally my kind of palette. It's a, it's, a lip, it's a lip love, it's called. Lila is a lip glow. It looks ten, uh, dense, but it comes out the lightest wash of apricot. And Shasha looks scary, but it's the most glorious cheek colour, which you wash out to the sort of apricot -iness. Um, so those are great. Perfect. Uh, next one. Next one. Yes. Otherwise, we're going to be. Oh my God! One of my favourite Shasha. There's her makeup. Thank there you. we go. And this. We know, darling, that you didn't mean to. Um, to you were just. It's that moment when you don't take a selfie often. But Grace. Goodness for Grace. <laughs> All right. Natural colour underneath is actually darker than I thought too. More brown now than red. In young years, I was very um, Titian red. I think. So at the moment, you're a great Trini London advocate. You will do BFF like medium, Trintron, lip to cheek in Freddie, blush brush in wigs, and um, is that Lila? Hi, Lila. <laughs> is that Lila? Yeah, Lila? Okay, hold on one second. We've got technical hitch. Let me just, let me just post the video. What can you do? Post it through the slide again. Okay, so uh, was that Lila? Okay. Yeah. So I need, you start on this one. I'm going to, Lila, I have to call you back. I'm in the middle of a live filming. I have to call you back. All right. So Grace, oh, shall I talk about the hair colour? One second, I just you published, you haven't published it. Did you publish it? Uh, <coughs> Did you post it? Grace. You sure? Yes. So Grace, sure? um, this is a, I mean Grace, first of all, thank you for sending this photograph because this will help so many people that are really struggling to, um, you know, transition their hair colour from one thing to another. Um, yeah, Titian Red when you were younger, and I think, unfortunately, where we're heading here is we need to rethink this colour. It's too yellow, it's actually got too much orange uh, pigments and overtone in it. And what I would do here, to allow your skin and eye colour to really um, be enhanced, I'd make your hair a bit more neutral. So what I would do here, I'd probably uh, use something like a uh, level seven in Joshua color, deep mid blonde. I would also add into that um, a champagne blonde shade shot that will help to keep your hair warm, but on the neutral side. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got to get rid of, it's gonna look a bit Can more she do even. This at home? Yeah. This is a miracle yeah. that she can do this at home yeah. because this is the kind of thing you think you go to the hairdresser to have to do, so I love that. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to kind of get a bit deeper into consultation about how you apply it, but yeah. we can do that online. Uh, but it would be roots first and then comb it through to the ends for the last 10 minutes. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's about neutralising some of these colours. All right, and are the colours she's wearing good? She's got Trintron, Lip Cheek and Freddie, Flush Blush in Wigs, Eye to Eye and Justice. Would you add anything into See, the stack? At the moment, with this redness, the Freddie, yep. it's cheek is great. Yeah. But if she was going a bit cooler, uh -huh. I would. It'll change. still be warm, but it'll be a neutral warm. Okay, so, so we'll get rid of that orangey. All right. So right. therefore, so we're saying you might change under the makeup. When she's leaning away from the oranginess, yeah. Because Freddie is quite a terracotta mm -hmm. base in orange. Mm -hmm. It might be that she could move. So let's just I've got to here. That is great there. But yeah. If she had a more neutral hair with the green eyes and because the skin is quite fair she could possibly move towards a Phoebe okay, once good. her hair's more neutral. Perfect. So it's just about tweaking it in the right direction once you've taken out any unnecessary red. Lovely, all right. Thank you very much. Okay, next one. Can up. I get Alex to Oh, yes, yeah, Alex. Has Alex started? No, but I can tell him. Yeah, tell him to start. Yeah, I thought he had started. Yeah, okay. So next up, we have got, name unknown, um, but you're at uh, Petals and Busy mum of two, under eight year olds, 47, works full time, so Trini Makeup Solutions actually talked to me. So I think what's really interesting here is we have many, many women who say, I've got freckles, mm. what products do I use? And I think when you've got freckles, you've got to find in between your original skin tone and the color of your freckle. A lot of people, when you go into a makeup um, counter will slightly misdiagnose you. They'll either give you a much paler, because they'll see the rest of your body, give you a paler foundation and you feel chalky and washed out, or they'll just look at your freckle um, and they'll give you a sort of more orangey look. So with this, we're actually choosing for you medium because you've got a greater amount of freckles than you have the skin underneath. So we're heading towards that. But the best thing about BFF 
is that it will uh, go to the colour of your skin. So I take light medium, but this is medium. But when I rub it in, you'll just see it picks up pigment because there's microspheres inside. And it will even out slightly the freckle, but not hide it because freckles are fabulous. And we really uh, celebrate women and their freckles, but sometimes you just want them not to be the first thing people see on your face. You want people to notice them. Um, like Lucia behind the camera has gorgeous freckles. Just show Lucia's, because she's got the most divine freckles and not, not dissimilar. So um, when you get older, freckles and pigmentation can become your friend, less friendly the pigmentation. So that's when you might want to use the BFF a bit more. Um, and then makeup darling, she's thinking of. A nice, quick, she wants a quick stack. Quick so, stack. Oh, let's do Let's do a quick stack. Two. Okay, again, it is in the golden era of makeup. So the colors will be warm, um, rich, to just sit nice in, in that skin tone with those eyes. Quick, a really quick stack for me, this is a classic. Mm -hmm. We know this is a classic, would be Fortune Eye to Eye, a Char Char Lip to Cheek, and just a bit of Lila Gloss. That would literally be her first yeah, face. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And then if you wanted to bring something extra in for evening or just for special days, a little bit of Empress with those. So it's like... And I think the colour is a really, really simple one. I like it dark. I think it looks pretty good. Would she like a shot? Would you give I her a shot? I would give her a I'm going to leave you to talk about the shot and start the next one because I've got to quickly go okay. across the door. I would um, <laughs> keep it dark, keep it rich. It's about condition here. I think we've got to focus on making the hair look really glossy. So shade shot gloss in chestnut brunette and also everything mask once a week to really really nourish that head looks quite thick looks like it's got texture very good color need to focus on condition fantastic all righty and our next lady we've done those oh wait, we've got three more to go four more to go we'll, we'll get that all right so what? okay so lovely elsa excuse the weird pose the screenshot from a bff admin video we were asked to make it really gives good guts to like. Despite being a designer and working with colour on a daily basis, I really struggle to pin down the cool, neutral, warm concept and which one I am, Shasha. And I must have asked Shasha this question around a dozen times on her live, so I'm really hoping you can help me on Sunday with Josh Wood. Be really useful for me, but even more for giving advice to others as an admin. For your information, my natural blonde now is 70% grey, and Santa is the best just to touch match. So, really, am I doing the right thing, and what else can I be doing? So. There we are. My natural blonde. I mean, this is a Elsa. I hope you're watching. I don't think you are. Some, I mean, I can see that you've coloured your roots here, but 70% grey is me. You feel white. Yeah. I think you're probably a bit less than that. Very simple explanation here. Gloss once a week. Again, icy blonde. It's exactly the kind of look that I'm trying to create and show you live on Safi. But just to keep um, any unwanted brassiness. Yeah. Keep it looking shiny, keep it looking salon fresh. Very simple. Great. All right, and Shasha, her stack. Her uh, stack, again, to me, there's quite a lot of tan going yeah. on in this. Mm -hmm. So again, with that level of caramel or golden or tanness in your look, anything to, we've got, I oh, just wanted to. If any of you well, ask we questions by the, by the way, yes, we will try and answer them at the end. So Lucia and Paris and um, darling Joshua, Emily, Emily if, you, if you can try and remember some of yes. the questions that you think people keep asking, they really like their questions, we will come to you with a quick Q&A at the end. We're just getting our colours together. Yes. No, this the story of my life. <laughs> I know. Shall I hold so on? Yes, you hold them. Okay, there we go. Okay, right. so anything to blue, silver, grey, She's throwing stacks. Give me one. Let me throw one. There we go. Yes. Anything to blue, silver, grey, cool in this isn't going to work for me. But I think we need to keep it not to the orange side of warmth. Mm -hmm. So it would be something like Faith, which is a neutral sort of twiggy brown. Faith mixed with Fortune would be fine. And then I sort of wouldn't go as orange as our queen eye to eye. So it would be those ones, which you see they have warmth, but still a coolness to their warmth, even though that sounds contradictory, without going to two gold brassy bronze. Okay. And just to build on that, because it might sound odd that Sha Sha says, say that. I know. Yeah, yeah, and it's, let's yeah, go in yeah. one point. Sha Sha yeah. says, you know, she's not using greys or silvers or violets, and I'm saying use a violet. What, why I'm saying use a violet is to neutralise yeah. any of the brassy orange. We still want a wheaty, soft vanilla blonde on the ends. What we don't want to do is add orange in those ends that will fight against the skin tone. 
Just yeah, and so that's the same as me saying I wouldn't take the warmth to orange exactly. because you just got rid of that orange. Yes. And I don't want to be adding in orange no. because we agree that orange doesn't look like Absolutely. Right. Do you get that, ladies? <laughs> when they get talking by themselves, <laughs> we could be watching, learning so much about that detail, that finite detail that Shasha and Joshua are obsessed Shasha, with. Next lady, okay, next, next lady, Shasha. Okay, so we've got here Margaret. And Margaret um, would love to take part of the Sunday. Any advice for a frazzled nurse working too Aww. many night duties, hair is dry and overcoloured and processed, and I'd love to get some shine back into it and advice on makeup. So, there's Margaret. Now, you can tell in that picture that the hair doesn't have enough attention mm -hmm. and nurturing. So, we see what your point is, Margaret. What would you advise her? So, Margaret, I think you're aware it's. It looks a little overcoloured, it looks dehydrated. I would start here a little bit of a rehab for you. Okay. I'd focus less on the colour and I'd focus more on the condition. So for you, I'd be using uh, my shampoo and conditioner, specially formulated for blondes with fine hair and literally living in everything Mars. I mean, can I just say, Josh, I used Kerastat Elixir, which is like a £28 product. And I picked up this, and I tried it just because you're my friend, I thought, well, I'll try it. But this is so amazing, and when you think of names, it's a very appropriate name. I use this, I have to tell you, instead of conditioner. Yeah, you I can. just throw that on, and there's a brunette one, isn't there? No, this, oh, this, this is just the one, so everything masks yeah, so I do just... The, I do the brunette shampoo, and I do yeah. that. Yeah, but it's I, so I mean, good. I mean, for, for Margaret, we need to really help build some body back into the hair, stop these flyaways. It looks like it's broken a little bit. I mean, I don't know, like... You could even put this in and slip your hair back and tie yeah. it back. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think if you maybe wear a nurse, you know, if you're wearing something at work, it could even work to make your hair look gelled back. But please, please, please focus on condition before we start to think about colour. Because without good condition, you cannot create a okay. great colour. So let's say also, Shasha, Margaret is going to take Josh's advice. It's the scariest thing for a woman who's sort of over 35 to slip back her hair sometimes. But if you gave her a really fresh makeup, she might mm -hmm. actually do totally. that. Totally. So yeah. what would you maybe do just to kind of have, she's running around nurse all day, wants something quick, wants it to last all day. And that's the thing, we're all often asked how long does something last? Our things have so much dense pigment in them, they really stay and they last, but it doesn't look heavy on your skin. So darling, what's your stack for busy nurse? My stack for busy nurse would be a neutral kind of, I yeah, 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 here we go. Yeah. Okay, a neutral kind of eye. So I would probably do wisdom, mm -hmm. um, because she could wear she could wear justice. But I feel if your hair's back, you do want a little bit more definition. Yeah, uh, uh, make your features pop. So do a wisdom. I'm quite pleased because she's the coolest one we've mm -hmm. had so far. So I can do different colours. Um, and then if she was going to judge it up for a night time, I'd do the magician eye to eye, for her, or lovers. So if you see those those three together, they're cool, but they all work together. Then I'd give her a little bit of pep in her cheek, probably. For a low-key day, if you're really in hospital running mm -hmm. around, I think not too much colour, so I'd probably do um, a Lectra and a Maddy. And then that brush. look there, mm, see the colours work together, they're easy to keep on top of. I mean, if you smudge that lip, it's not going to matter, but yeah. you're still going to look fresh. And then I'd probably add in a little bit of Phoebe, that cool mm -hmm. watermelon red that I talked about, just for... Your evening or yeah. whatever. So it's that palette. Sorry, Josh. You're great. Hand. Thank you Holding very much. My... <laughs> okay, and we've got um, we've got two more women after this. So and then we've got our final. So this is take that one off, darling. This is here, Ching. And Ching is really wanting a live consultation on Sunday. If any of you are watching, by the way, are any of our models watching and going, that's me. Fantastic. So yeah. I just want to say hello to all of you who are um, in the Netherlands. Are uh, great because Josh Wood, you do shit worldwide. We ship in Europe. We ship in Europe. Well, that's all. That's here. The most important thing. The Australians are going to be complaining soon. Just it's coming. It's yeah, coming. we've it's had it already. Yeah, because it's fantastic. His things at the moment. Just get a friend to order it for you. Is what I would suggest because there's nothing else like it. I'm um, wanting to have a consultation in store or at the office, but I just don't have the time. So I think pigmentation on the upper lip and cheek. This is mainly. I'm going to say a very quick one for you, Josh. Yeah. And we'll go on to makeup. So are you going to say she should be a little bit of a. Um, well, things she can't order from you, but if she can get a friend to send it to her. I mean, the most important thing is getting the right colour for Ching. So, of course, I'd love Ching to be using my products, but it's more important that she gets the right colour. Um, 
It's about neutralising this kind of orangey green brassy turn and getting a really, really gorgeous soft brunette. Yeah. Um, I mean, if, if Ching was uh, going to use my product, we would be using Smoky Brunette. Mm -hmm. uh, um, again, this is charcoaly violets, specific, specifically designed for brunettes that tend to, uh, when they oxidise, they oxidise in this kind of um, orangey, kind of khaki yeah. kind of colour. Yeah. So it would be using this once a week and it would neutralise any of those unwanted tones. Can I just say that um, this didn't exist before because Josh has a patent on the concept and I find it very exciting when something innovative comes into hair care that you don't just get at the salon. I just have to say because I think it's super cool that we have people in England who are that innovative and not just doing something commercial and sweet for the market. So I just Thank think you. that's brilliant. Okay, darling, what are we going to do for Ching? For, oh my goodness, Shasha. Very good. Okay, so there we are. Okay, again, I, I've, I've mentioned before, um, too purple, too cool, too anything in this kind of skin tone with that kind of eye, once the hair is sorted, it's, it's still not going to sit right. But then Ching can do the neutral to warmish so mm -hmm. we've brought in emperor this time how's that I got it, I got emperor it, yeah. we've got emperor wisdom faith fortune at a push but i think i prefer These are all desire eye, to eye, eye to eyes and then cheeks it's the richness of chloe i think would really really cheek. suit really suiting and then we've got freddie and shasha again those can be used on the mouth as well and then i've kept the mouth quite neutral We've got a little bit of Tashi and a little bit of Thea. So Tashi is a, a, is a lit luxe and delicious sort of luxurious feel on this one. Thea it's looks lip brown and sorry, pops I didn't a glow. And it just is a wash. It just kind of in a way enhances your natural lip shade, especially when you're a more olive skin tone. Brilliant, okay. All right, and then we're going to do second to last. And Tashi, we might put them on here next time like this and I'll move out the way so you can have nice ones there. Okay, so this is oh, lovely. This Elizabeth. Um, we want you to come in actually and, and be one of our Trinity tribe because I think we don't have your combination. Mm -hmm. Naked and no makeup on a 42 year old from Iceland. So, hello Elizabeth. And I think you've got the most. I, I do love this, this look. It's very, um, I call it Celtic. It's just that clear, clear blue eye. You, you've kind of got a, um, I'd say, is it peach cream light or pale pink no. tones? No, she's either a peach and cream light or she's actually a porcelain. Or she's a porcelain, yeah, because you've got very pale skin and dark hair. So let's talk hair first, Josh. Perfect hair, what can I say? Um, I would <laughs> gloss again. I think everybody can have a gloss. Everybody can Shiny yeah. hair okay, really what works for me. Colour, I would colour. do smoky brunette. Okay, great. Okay. All right, cool. So just a gloss, lovely hair. But I think for you, darling, and you are, um, you know, you, you very... You know, only 25% of the population can wear black. You're wearing black. You can wear black because you've got that clarity in your blue eye. You've got that cooler, more neutral skin and that cooler hair. So you can do black, white, not cream. Cream will wash you out. Navy blue. You can do um, a cobalt blue. You can do an emerald green. You can do a beautiful colour on you. It's purple. Beautiful colour on you. Um, burgundy. Lovely on you too. Uh, so shut up. Makeup wise, can let's see what we're going that? to yeah, and then you've, go. gone, then you've gone like that. Yes, what oh my God, yes. Yeah. Um, so it's again cool, cool. We've got a bit of wisdom. We've got chalice, desire. So the magician eye to eye. and there we go. lovers eye to eyes. Again, as Trini mentioned, it's cool, purple, etc. So we're staying away from the golds and the, the warm browns. Okay, so this magician, one. you can see that shade there. Mm -hmm. And then here you've got lovers, mm -hmm. kind of cool aubergine. And then that kind of neutral there is wisdom. Um, this is um, Lady J. Lady J. Lady which would be the warmest I'd yeah. go. Okay, great. And Catherine. Catherine. It's a beautiful mm. blusher shade, a very cool blusher shade. This is an exquisite lip on um, Dahlia and Demon is a cool lip there. Lip Lux. And this is a lip love. And that's a lip glow. And Pookie, Pookie. is just fantastic. We love Pookie as a. But I love box. when someone has such a strong look like that. They should go for it. It's, but it's such a palette it makes. Fantastic. Great. Thank you, darling. All right. And Here we, we are. are now. Okay. Wait, oh my God, you're so organised. You just went <laughs> round the houses. So, Kim, I'm 50 and with health issues. I'm now close to white and it's becoming tedious to maintain my hair colour. Any advice will be appreciated. So, close to white, but that hair colour is not bad. It's not bad. You know? No. But the thing is, she's. It's like, I don't know, Kim, if you're saying here, 
can I let my natural show through when she's saying... I wouldn't, no. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry Let's to hear discuss, that Kim's got yeah. health issues, yeah. but I think what we can do with the hair, it's a really interesting one, because if, if Kim wanted to keep these lighter tones in the ends of her hair that look balayaged or kind of sun-kissed, I would tell her to use a lighter gloss in Champagne Blonde. But if she wanted to darken the hair down, or, or even maybe in autumn, Thing. I don't want it so light, it maybe looks a little transparent on the ends, I want it to look richer, I would use a chestnut brunette. But, but in Shade Shop Gloss there are four colours, there are two for blondes and two for brunettes, and two cools and two warms, it's very very simply laid out. I've got other ones coming, but to start with I really wanted to explain the, uh, how one would think about cool and warm, and actually Kim's the perfect example to show if you want to be light and warm, champagne blonde, if you want to be dark and warm, chestnut brunette. Okay, great. And makeup, darling, for Kim. Makeup. Kim's got pretty, she's, she's just... Kim's yeah. like, to me, Kim's, Kim's is almost the equivalent yet the opposite of the last lady. Exactly, yeah. totally. You've gone totally warm palette. So all these eye shades, the Queen, the Empress eye to eye, is that Faith or Desire? Die? Desire. See. Desire. Um, and then we've got Fortune and we've got Faith or hang on, can't Empress. Know. Empress. And oh, we've got two Empresses. You've got two probably, Empresses, that's yeah. fine. And then Desire again, the same. So it is just that yeah, the br two. warm browns, lovely. Um, darling here. So a bit of Sasha, that's a lip, lip on her cheek. Yep. A wigs, flush blush, and a Freddie lip to cheek. As a neutral. As a neutral, and then I'd probably actually add in Maddie because the Freddie and the Maddie will make a so great nude lip for her. Um, Tashi and her, her bright lip would is be a Swainy. Swainy. Fantastic. Great. Thank you, darling. Now we're back with Safi. Safi. My God, this is like she's. And did you do her makeup? No. No. Who did her makeup? Okay. Oh, I see. Brilliant. Brilliant. Is that right? Okay. So you go in there for that. Let's just yes. get the before, Trini. It's under your box on the chair. It's under the box on the chair. So, Safi, let's just look at that. So it's not a million miles away. We've just lost, you see here where there's that ambery kind of orangey. We've lost all of those turns and cooled it down. So mm. she's got this kind of really soft natural looking sun kissed it's blonde. It's really taken all the yellow out. Gone. It's amazing. Like magic. Like magic, Gone. Josh. Can I just see? So I just want to see end here what yeah, it is it's like it's like a different hair colour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Shasha, makeup, what have you done? Makeup, we've as we talked about, we've removed the half black. Um, but try to yeah. Yeah, so, so try we'll go to it. try to bring the eyes out, but to make us see the blue because they are the most beautiful blue mm -hmm. eyes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I do find I love the black liner for that kind of look, but it is distracting from someone's actual eye colour. I always find so we've tried to give a smoky eye in a gentle way that just has some colour that pops out the blue. So we've got Queen and Desire, so that it didn't go too warm because Desire Desire sits sort of. Sort of in the middle, doesn't it? It's not too coppery. And it's taken away from that black eyeliner. Yeah, it's just but it's given the strength yeah. that the black was giving her. And then we've just popped um, Queen on the top. But I love Queen with the blue eyes. I eye. felt the black eyeliner, I think this is something that happens with blondes. Two yellow hair, black eyeliner. Yeah. Classic. It looks hard. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Just softening that down and yeah. taking away some of the yellow tones and softening the eye just it just looks so much prettier. But who you see features. <laughs> yeah, you more see features. Than the yeah. 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 And then, and then we have a little bit of Sasha mixed with Maddie lip glow, Sasha lip love on the mouth. Just to give a soft sheen sparkle to go with the eye, but not it's a, a very, glittery lip. That's very pretty, that combination. If any of you who've got and then a wigs on the Maddie cheeks. and Sasha, I love that. On yeah. the skin tone, it's beautiful. A little bit of wigs flush blush on the cheeks. Thanks. So then when you put those together, you can see that all those colours sit well together. It's just, well, thank you so say, much for getting up so early thank on you that. So much. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much, <laughs> triumphant. So um, let's just do a quick fire, if you can remember, social media team there, any questions, because I think we've been just been throwing so much information at you. So, so please come in with some questions. Uh, recommendations, Josh. Mm -hmm. What to do with thinning hair? Big topic. That, that could take a whole Sunday morning <laughs> I mean, to I answer just, that Yeah, one. I mean, I just want to say I've done so much research myself yes. with Shabir, nutritionist, about thinning hair. And I've also spoken to quite a few about treatments you can do from PRP mm -hmm. to CO2 oxygen with Teresa Tame. 
Um, and I think that you can look at it at trinilon.com, also about taking superior hair products, biotin. Um, there are many supplements that are good for hair. So have a look and look at hair, and you'll see three really interesting films on it on Trinilon. And quickly, from a colour perspective, the finer you are, it's better to go lighter. Okay. You don't want a dark hair with the contrast okay. against a pink scalp. Great. That's a, that's a quick tip, but there's a lot of lot more information as well on joshuacolor.com on how to get the right colour for the, the, the quality and thickness of your hair. Great. All right. Next one. one. Question from Angela. She says, is there a clear gloss for naturally grey hair? Yeah. So grey, I would either use everything mask. Um, this has glossing properties or the icy blonde to neutralise any yellow or give it a real sparkle. But if it, that's a clear gloss in theory. Great. Okay. I've got one. I'm going to tell you that. Atelier Louise, would you recommend Josh mixing your colours? I use a dark on 6.5 with your red power shot, but find it quite dark, but they're not sure it would, I would be a 7.0. I mean, the whole system is meant to be intermixed. That's what we do in salon, and I've tried to make a um, expert salon inspired range for people. Um, I think most people always go a shade too dark. Mm. Always go for one shade slightly lighter. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, sh the chestnut, brunette shade shot plus that you add into your uh, permanent colour, uh, that, that works with every shade from four to six. Thank you. Any others, girls? Uh, what's the quickest way to work out if you are cool or warm toned? I think that people can sit in different places and I think it applies for makeup and for hair and the way Shasha is always talking about a makeup, you know, some of our makeups are very cool toned, some very warm toned, some sits in neutral. And I think on women's faces and skin, hair and eye combinations, it's in a way what leads. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it could be that you have a warm eye and a warm hair, that's gonna lead the conversation. Some people have, you know, like Shasha and yourself on the, is that Lila again? Oh my God, okay. Lila, I'm still filming live, I will call you back. Sorry, my daughter keeps calling me from Africa, so where, where she's very insistent. Um, finished off what I was saying, because I've, I've lost my train of thought, shush up. No, because I always use yeah. Aunt, Auntie Dickie. As my aunt, my yes. aunt is the exact same colour as me, but she has silver white hair. So her hair nudges her cooler, because there's, I'm not cool at all. Mm -hmm. So she can wear aubergines, she can go into the burgundies, and anything with that a little bit of that cool sort of purples behind it, whereas I can't. So it's, if you're, your hair is a swinger, or for... Because someone who is blonde but can take a red and goes red, yeah. that red is going to swing them much warmer than they would have been yeah. in the middle. So something and always in nudge it. Sorry, Shane. In hair colour, it's like weighing scales, cool and warm. Mm -hmm. Like if you've got two parts warm, you're going in that direction. Yeah. It's not about. Um, it's like weighing scales. You've got to figure out which are the strongest colour elements and work with those rather than working against them. But the thing to say in hair colour that's slightly different to uh, what Shasha does. Sometimes we're neutralizing a color that, you know, somebody's hair is brown and it's gone orange, but they should be more cool. We're neutralizing that to put to the, to exactly. Yeah. And neutral, I mean, if we look at, uh, you know, we have probably equal proportion of, of colors for all areas, but I would say that there are some women where nothing dominates. So I, I'm neither warm nor cool. I sit in the middle, so I can probably suit the largest selection in the eyes, we have 20, I could probably suit 16. Um, I maybe just wouldn't go to the very, very cool ones. And if you're very warm, you just want to sit more in that family and if you're very cool, the same. So, you know, it's something we just keep educating on. We wish there was a, an amazing secret formula. If you do match to me on trinilondon.com, you can find out the makeup that suits you. And if you go onto Josh's site and do, and do the personalization, you can find out what hair is best yeah. for you. So the two together do work. And we can, the most important thing is we can bring you a solution. Any final questions? Um, this is from Cheryl. She's got blonde hair and bought Josh's shampoo conditioner and everything mask a few months ago. What do you recommend that she's off on holiday soon? Um, condition, condition, condition. Uh, use them at everything mask every day while you're in the sun. Use it as a styling product. Um, if you're very blonde, so if your hair's highlighted or coloured blonde, um, icy blonde when you get back if that if your hair is yellowed at all. Great. And we might do, actually, um, in September, a kind of post-holiday hair yeah. and makeup because I think so many people come back from holiday and their hair has just gone off on its own journey and their skin feels, you know, they had that wonderful holiday glow, they got on the plane, the hydration was sat down and then they get home and they think, I thought I looked great when I was in the front of the mirror on holiday and I got back and I feel actually like a bit like a 
for a prune. So we'll do that so yep, when we that. do that, Shasha. Mm -hmm. And um, we look forward to it. We love that you all gave in so many photographs. So thank you so much. Keep them coming, and when we do it again, and have a wonderful Sunday. And Josh will try and answer a few more questions on Absolutely. our Facebook. That'd be lovely. So if you did feel your question wasn't answered and you're on Facebook, try and answer them on Instagram. It's harder because when the light's gone, it's gone. But I'm sorry if we didn't get to your questions. And I hope that by using 10 very different women, we um, took into account some of the questions that you were asking. All right. Bye. Bye.